Hey, what's going on, y'all? All right, so today we're gonna do an interior mod. We're gonna do a crushed black suede um, interior pieces. I'm gonna do my dash pad, um, a couple A pillars, and uh, the trim, the mirror trim right there. Um, got some snow out here in the PNW, uh, about 12 inches, and they're about 36 hours. So, um, you know, good day to you know sit inside and do some projects. All right. So today, I'm going to be doing some mirror trims, covers, um, the A pillars here, and then my dash pad on my 2016 Dart. Get up here, and uh, this is the material we're going to use. And it's really nice, um, like a crack suede style material. I got it from Walmart. Um, I actually went to Joann's. Uh, I've been trying to get that fabric, but Joann's and four of the stores were out. And then, so I ended up going to Walmart and they had it. And then I'm using um, this uh, super adhesive from 3M77. A lot of people that I've been watching on YouTube doing these mods um, have said that it's, um, you know, that it works really well. I know a lot of people have done Loctite, and Loctite doesn't work very well. It doesn't hold, so um, I'm going to be using that for this process, trying to get it to go. So um, you want to make sure that your parts are really clean, uh, Yeah, preferably if you have, uh, get gloves. I don't have gloves, um, so I'm just going to be really careful and make sure that I don't have any uh, spray adhesive on my fingers or my hands or anything, because it will show, especially on your more uh, suede fabrics, uh, stuff like that. It's really hard to get adhesive out, so um, yeah, let's get and get started to get those, and uh, I'm going to start working on these mirror pieces to start with since they're the easiest. Uh, I'm gonna get all this stuff moved, get everything set up, and I'll bring you all back on. Alright, so here we go. I've got the suede laid down, and then I've got my two mirror pieces laid out here. I'm gonna go probably like this, and you wanna make sure you leave plenty of room, about a finger's length or so. So that way you can wrap around the edges, stuff like that. So, um, be about like that. Probably cut it here, and, uh, Really sorry about the fidgety camera. I don't have a uh, tripod. Need to invest in one of those. Um, so actually, let me get this cut out real quick. Um, I'll bring it all back on. Just because I don't have a tripod, I don't want to be shaking the camera and uh, you know mess up the cut of the fabric and everything. All right, so I've got my pieces cut out here. Got that there, this here. Um, my scissors really suck. So um, before you do this, I personally would just recommend that you go into the fabrics section, get um, a nice new pair of fabric scissors, um, just because it'd make it a lot easier to cut. It's gonna be really precise. You don't have all these edges, uh, everything like that. So um, I mean, it's relatively out there. But you're not gonna see it. It's not gonna affect the thing. But um, it's just something that I would prefer. You know, personally. So um, gonna go ahead and set this off to the side and I went ahead and bought three yards of this fabric just because um, I'm going to be doing a lot of but I'm going to be doing my B pillars and then also my C pillars inside and I'm also gonna be doing my trunk at some point so I'm um, doing a lot of this stuff here um, so what I'm doing now is I'm giving the can a really good shake so all right and so get the fabric out here. And what I've found out that you want to do is go ahead and let this tack up for a couple minutes. On both pieces, you're gonna spray the um, spray the fabric and the thing you're wrapping. Um, and then you're going to let it do that. So uh, I'm actually going to have to end the video here and go to Walmart because the can that I bought of uh, spray adhesive um, doesn't exactly work. So I will pick this up when I get a new one. Alright y'all, so we're back. 
So they didn't have the 77, so I had to go with the high strength 90. And then while I was at Walmart, I'm like, you know, I'll pick me up a pair of scissors. Um, they got the small ones, big pack, like six bucks. Um, so I've been trying to figure this out. Um, this is really hard to do one-handed uh, just because of the awkward angles and everything. So I went ahead and did my mirror caps. Um, turned out really, really beautiful. Um, basically how I did this was I sprayed the fabric, sprayed the thing, um, the part, and then with these, because it has a dimple right here, um, I went ahead and made sure that I laid it down in here first. Um, got it really tucked up into that corner uh, to give it a really nice, good seal. And then with this fabric, um, I realized it's not, after working with it, it's not a suede, but it's more like a crushed, I don't know, velvet type thing maybe. Um, but it, it stretches, so um, being able to get out, um, it looks really nice. I was able to get out some wrinkles. You want to make sure that uh, you have any wrinkles, you know, you just lift it, pull it, uh, get it in there, and then um, just got in here and trimmed it up. Got it nice and trimmed uh, right here where the snaps in to the body. Um, I just went ahead and cut a little slit in there, and then right up top, um, they're going to have a little bit of excess up here. Best thing to do is fold it over, fold it over, cut the excess. And then spray just a little bit of adhesive down here. Wait a few minutes to let it tack up. And then go ahead and take a pair of scissors or something else to get this to lay down in here like this. And hold it for um, 30 seconds or so. You know, just to get it um, to where it lays down properly. Um, down here, you know, just put it underneath like the foam, everything like that. So this, these came out really, really nice. Try and get you guys some angles here. Um, so now we're going to be wrapping the dash pad here, or not the dash pad, but the A pillars here. So um, you're gonna be pretty well straightforward. This right here, so you can put the headliner in here. Um, so it's pretty well straightforward. It's pretty just maneuver until you get to down here. And then whenever I get down here um, with all these angles and everything, again, we're going to do the same thing. Try and um, just get all the all the nooks and crannies and everything in here. Um, I'm going to uh, bring you all back when I get down here just so that way um, I can do this. It kind of takes two hands to do this. And again, I don't have a tripod and I don't have anybody to help me. So um, I will cut you all back on in a minute. All right, y'all, so I got this laid out. So we got it nice and smooth up here. Got all the wrinkles out. Um, so what you're gonna have is you're gonna have this big empty space, right? Of where it curves in. So what you wanna do is cut a relief strip, a relief line, like right in here to get it to sit well and so perfect example here see if I can do this with um, see if I can get that wrinkle out of there so I've got one right there if y'all can see it All right. so then y'all gonna want to like I said, do the relief cut there. Okay. I'm going to have to put this down because I don't want to mess this up. So I'll bring it all right back. All right. So real quick, um, just wanted to show this to y'all. When I mean relief cut and you don't want to screw this up, well, screw it up anyway. So you want to make sure that whenever you put in your relief cut, um, my wife don't want to snowball at me. Um, you want to make sure that you actually pick the part up and realize where it's at because I thought that by cutting it I thought ending it here would be enough not realizing that it was way down here so now I gotta scrap the whole piece 
cut more fabric and redo it all over again. So when I get back here, I'll get y'all back home. All right, y'all, now we getting busy, right? So got the, got the stress relief cut in here, going all the way down here. Got the material, bottom's right here, right? So now, let me go ahead and flip this up here. All right, flip this up where the glue stops. Then what you want to do is grab your glue, give it a good shake. All right, and then come in here. And get all these nice edges in here. So I'm spraying directly into this part here and into this part and into these. Just and these, mind you, are this hole here is going to go actually inside your uh, your car. So you can wrap them. You can just go up to here. It's kind of up to your preference. Um, it doesn't matter, but get all this here and then do a little bit of my actual fabric wait a little bit and if you notice I got a little bit on here on the actual fabric but that's all right because this is all extra you can sell right there's the line so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this down here and it's super sticky okay Okay, this ain't gonna work. Hold on. All right, y'all, sorry about that. So, as you can probably tell, what I was having issue with was I let it get tacky and it's super sticky. And so right here, along the bottom edge here, it was really tacking up on me and I couldn't, with one hand, I couldn't get it uh, down. And at risk of, you know, screwing up the whole panel a second time, um, you know videoing I was like you know what I need to get this done um, but if I can bring you in here see if I can lighten this up here so I did get in all these crevices here um, so got in all these um, I still got some play and everything so what we're gonna do is go ahead and flip this around to your back side and what you're gonna do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and um, get a nice tack going spray adhesive in here get it all going along here get along the, the inside edges here right and then what you're gonna do is uh, so a lot of people either trim it beforehand and stick it down um, I've done it before. I've wrapped these pieces probably two or three times with different fabric. Um, I've always screwed up the placement of where I can and can't. So this one I'm just going to, you know, do this and then trim it. So uh, let me get this going and then I will bring you back. All right, y'all. So this here is pretty good here. I went ahead and got it all trimmed up got it all in here and what you want to make sure is these little clips here these are what's going to actually right here in this little bevel so what's actually going to click in to the um the actual car so one thing i wanted to show you here is right here you can see that i've got a crease or bubble wrinkle all that so what you want to do is See how good a balancing act I can do. Go ahead and just pull up the edge real quick. And see, just pull that. Make it real nice and tight. Put it back there. And I got, let's see. Yeah, it's a little, a little wrinkly right there. Not too bad though. So go ahead and do the same thing. All right. So. This is what it looks like. We got all the edges pretty well down. We got it going here. Now the only thing is, is I do have to trim up this here 
um, and then stuff this inside here uh, so that way we can when we put it back in the car the headliner can sit in here but I'm um, gonna go ahead and stop it there and then do the second one here and then I will bring y'all back on whenever I do my dash pad here we got a couple edges here it's wider we got the little divot there a couple edges here so that's just gonna be a little fun one um, apologize about it being so long um, I'm really trying to hurry this is why like I'm pausing and starting just so that way I can try and get you guys um, the best quality I can uh, but not taking up as much time so let me uh, go ahead and pause and then I'll bring y'all back when I start the dash pad all right all right y'all so got some time been doing my pillars got the pillars all set and straight now we are down with the, just the dash pad right all right so now this is leather so I'm not exactly sure how well it's gonna react to leather but you know hey we'll find out so I'm gonna start with doing the bigger side first getting the dimple put in making sure that's nice and sexy and good and then uh, we'll go ahead and move on over to the uh, the the peninsula there, the corner. Get this nice and good. Now you don't want to do too much, all right, of this, but you don't want to do not enough. So you want to make sure to get all the stuff going. Um, when we do the edges, I'll make sure to hit up right there, right here. You know, when we do the edges to sink it down, I'll do some more. Uh, let me grab the fabric and we'll lay it over, get it going, all right? All right, got it laid down here, smoothing it out here. And there's that dimple right there. We want to make sure it gets down in there. And we're probably going to be able to, yeah, you can kind of pick it up a little bit there. Make sure to get it down nice and smooth. Before I stop blowing, so make sure that that's all good. All right, so just a little over here. I'm a little bit short on this, but I think with the material, I'm gonna be able to stretch it over. Um, this does have a little bit of stretch to it. Um, so that's gonna be a good thing for me. Um, definitely want to make sure that um, you make sure that everything fits before you cut it. Um, I kind of just cut this when I cut my other pieces and kind of just eyeballed it thinking this might be enough. And I came up a little short. So uh, let me get this situated here and we'll get back to this here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the spray. Move that down. Uh, and then do a little bit of the fabric here. So that way it gets extra tacky here. So I'm gonna let this set up for about a couple minutes. Lay it over, get it uh, stretched over here a little bit, and then I'll bring y'all back on, all right? All right, so I got it pulled over here. Um, I got it stretched over the corner. I'm holding it just to kind of give it some time to, to make sure that it bonds so it doesn't, I know it's gonna wanna pull back up. So uh, trying to get it to that finished state there. You can see the outline of it and everything. Ah, I love this fabric. I don't know. It's a crushed something. I know it's not crushed suede from me working with it, but this looks amazing. I love the way it's turning out. Love the way it's looking. And uh, can't wait to get more. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and uh, get it going back, trimming. Catch y'all back on a minute. All right, y'all. So I got everything trimmed up. Went around all these clips that go into the 
dashboard here. Get them all trimmed around here. And then here, which was the part I was having issues with, I got it clamped down, got the extra fabric, and I waited about five minutes um, with the fabric spray out right here and uh, to get it real nice and tacky so I can make sure that um, this wouldn't pull back up on me. And then I went ahead and uh, just held it like this for probably a good 30 seconds to a minute just to give it that rigidness, make sure it wouldn't come up. And then I had this corner right here, um, I had to take up about four or five times to get rid of a wrinkle, stubborn wrinkle wouldn't come out. So let's go ahead and flip this over, see what she looks like. Oh man, y'all, I'm telling you what, this looks good. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Get that. See how that corner is, right? Nice, tight, together. It's all about patience and working the corners, working it to make sure that there's no lines, no nothing. And like I said, that was about right here that I had to take up four or five times to get right. And if you notice, there ain't no wrinkles. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get on. All right, John, here's the final shot here. So got everything nice and completed. Everything's done, looking good. Now I will have more videos coming up about, um, you know, the C pillars, B pillars, stuff like that. Uh, it just takes me a little while. I mean, I, I do live in an RV, so um, work 14 hours a day. So trying to get stuff done. Um, just want to let you know, or bring to mention, this nice uh, curve I got in here. Let's let the um, headliner sit in. So um, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, show some love for your boy. Um, you know, make sure to hit the notifications bell, get all that going. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Um, I know this has been real long, but just trying to do what I can for you. Um, I'll either get pictures tomorrow of it in the car, or I'll get a little clip to put at the end of this. So, um, again, thanks you all for watching. Appreciate you, and uh, much love to you. Alright, y'all. So, I'm at my job. Got a little time here, so I'll shoot this interior real quick. Turns out really nice. It's a really cloudy day, but it turned out really nice here. Looks super, super good. I'm really stoked at how it looks, and I uh, can't wait to get more this stuff going on. Get this headliner done, and get the rest of this interior done. Stay tuned.